Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Well, there were a lot of interesting comments concerning radio frequency grounding and various other types of grounding uh, for other purposes, lightning, AC ground, DC ground, counterpoise, all kinds of things. And I invite further comments in that video. Uh, and, but I also became interested in the idea, what do you do if you don't have any kind of ground available near you? For example, on a spacecraft, especially a small spacecraft without much mass, or a small motor vehicle. Uh, you get some capacitance to earth ground, but, but suppose that the motor vehicle is made out of plastic. But I'm particularly concerned, and, and a lot of them are, largely some kind of carbon fiber plastic, I don't know exactly what, but I'm concerned particularly about spacecraft, the International Space Station, for example, or other smaller spacecraft, such as landing modules for the moon, Mars, uh, possibly someday Pluto, who knows, Saturn's moon Titan, Jupiter's moon Ganymede, any, any such landing craft, and even aircraft flying at high altitude or any kind of problem like that. How do you ground the radio equipment and all other electrical systems? What reference point can you use? I guess the, the logical answer is the, the metal mass of the aircraft or spacecraft itself. But that's nowhere near the mass of a, the, the Earth. And uh, so there are, to me, it seems there are two different ways to do it. One way is to use a balanced antenna system, uh, such as a open wire fed dipole, in which case you can get current to flow back and forth along the uh, antenna and feed line in a way you, you would think similar to what happens in your ham radio station when you use a ladder line fed so-called doublet antenna. But, and I knew I was going to have to write this down somewhere, so I, you can Google on this phrase in the exact, and in the search for this exact word or phrase, in that box in the Google search engine, type these words. Electrical grounding practices for aerospace hardware. Electrical grounding practices for aerospace hardware. That's the phrase. You can also enclose it in quotes if you want to be sure that it appears as a phrase. But there you will find several highly technical documents. Uh, and I'm not going to try and dispute any of them. Again, this level of knowledge is above my pay grade, over my head. Trite Scan is going crazy. And Stan Gibalisco will now sign off, saying 73 and so long, which on board spacecraft, aircraft, marine craft, or down here on Earth, always translates to da-da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.